Workspace ONE UEM profiles allow you to manage and configure your devices. In the previous tutorial, we enabled mobile SSO authentication. The next step is to create SSO profiles for iOS and Windows, which we'll do in this tutorial. Before you begin, make sure you have access to the KDC root certificate. You will have already downloaded the KDC certificate if you have completed the previous exercise. The first SSO profile we'll create is for iOS. In the Workspace ONE UEM console, click Resources, Profiles and Baselines, Profiles. On the Profiles page, click Add, then Add Profile. Select iOS and then Device Profile. A device profile applies the settings and restrictions to all devices, regardless of which users are logged in. Later, when we create a profile for Windows, we're going to select a user profile, which only applies settings to active enrolled users. First up, the general settings. Start by entering a name, for example, iOS Kerberos SSO. We can keep most of the default settings, so scroll down to Smart Groups and select All Devices. Next, we'll configure the payloads. These payloads contain the restrictions and any other settings that you want to apply. Profiles usually work best with one payload. However, this iOS profile is an exception with three payloads. Click the Credentials payload and click Configure to bring up the settings. Click Upload and choose File to select your KDC root certificate. Click Open and then click Save. You can see that the certificate has been successfully uploaded. Next, we'll define the SCEP or Simple Certificate Enrollment Protocol payload. This protocol is used to manage certificates. We must define the certificate authority details so that we can assign certificates to our devices. Click Skip and again, click Configure. Select AirWatch Certificate Authority for Credential Source and you can see that the remaining settings are populated. For this profile, we'll keep these settings. The last payload we need for our iOS profile is Single Sign-On. Scroll down, click Single Sign-On and click Configure. Enter Kerberos for the account name. For Kerberos principal name, select Enrollment User. For Realm, enter the Realm name for Workspace ONE Access. In this case, you can check the access URL for the Realm name. Although the Realm name is usually the same as your Access Tenant DNS domain name, they are independent and so the values can sometimes differ. However, for this trial environment, the Realm and domain name are the same. Another important note, this text must be entered in uppercase letters. It might be helpful to paste the Realm name here first and then you'll know exactly what to type in. You can check out this knowledge base article which lists all the realms. Okay, back to our profile. For renewal certificate, select SCEP1. Scroll down to URL prefixes. In the URL field, enter your tenant ID. Next, go to applications, application bundle ID. In the first field, select the Salesforce option. Click add and enter com.apple.mobilesafari. Any app that you add here must support Kerberos authentication, otherwise the user won't be able to SSO into those apps. To finish, click Save and Publish. You'll notice that there are no records found and this is because we haven't enrolled any devices yet. Click Publish and there is our new SSO profile for iOS. Now let's create an SSO profile for Windows. Click Resources, Profiles and Baselines, Profiles. Click Add and click Add Profile. Select Windows, Windows Desktop. For Windows, we're going to select User Profile. A user profile will apply settings to all active enrolled user logins. In the general settings, enter a name, for example, Windows User Cert. Again, let's leave the default settings as they are. Scroll down to Smart Groups and select All Devices. For Windows, we only have one payload to configure, the SCEP payload, which defines the certificate authority details. Click SCEP and click Configure. For Credential Source, select AirWatch Certificate Authority. For Certificate Template, select Certificate Cloud Deployment. For Key Location, select TPM if present. Finally, click Save and Publish. And click Publish, and we're done. Now you can see the two SSO profiles we created, one for iOS and one for Windows. Before we finish, let's see how these profiles look on an enrolled device. On the iPhone, within the Intelligent Hub app, tap Support. Tap the arrow in My Devices, Scroll down through the device details until you see profiles. Tap the arrow and you can see that the SSO profile and the passcode profile are installed. Now on Windows, it's the same thing. In the Intelligent Hub app, click Support, click the device name, scroll down to the Profile section and you see the Windows password profile and the Windows user cert, which is used for SSO. For more Workspace ONE technical resources, be sure to visit techzone.com.